man, the internet's had my life this week. Hello guys, I hope you're all well, and welcome back to... The Internet Today! So, first things first, Facebook. The anti-aging social network has been giving me a few problems this week. So basically, the girlfriend said to me last Saturday, Here Jack, I've got a free photo shoot we can go to next week. Oh, it's going to be really good, this. So naturally, I was like... <laughs> <laughs> so being a bit apprehensive, we went anyway, took some photos, had a bit of a laugh, and I got to see how naturally photogenic I was. And while we're waiting for the photos to get processed, the lady comes over to us and says, Alright, look, if you give us all your contacts and your phone, we'll give you 75 quid worth of free makeup. So there's me sitting there thinking, yeah, yeah, that's alright, you know, 75 quid worth of free makeup, it makes the missus happy, and they're not literally going to call everyone, are they? They have got that slightly wrong. They called literally everyone. So I put up a status basically being like, you know, guys, Sorry, you might get a call from the studio, but oh no, that's not good enough. I told them you're wanted for identity theft and that I will be notifying the police. And since you gave them my contact details, rude, I did indeed call the police and tell them that you are a thieving identity. Figured I should start as I mean to go on. See you in court. Then some of my other mates piped in. Well, they did to me. The master of self checker. I work in a supermarket. And I hate the self scan. No, the master of trouble, my brother. He's a shoplifter as well. Ah, oh, great. Just add that onto my identity theft charge, will you? If anything, I was the one who got bloody robbed. I ended up having to fork out 50 quid for free digital photos. Free digital photos. I'm due in court in a couple of weeks for some serious charges, man. The amount of money I have, I'll be lucky to have a cup of soup for a bloody lawyer. <laughs> Your Honor, I'm sorry, 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 sorry. To the victim, I'm sorry, 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 sorry. So the group I mentioned in my last tip video, just popping into Sainsbury's, does anyone want anything? They've changed their agenda a bit since then. I'm voting Labour in the next general election. What, in November? What about everyone's Cornetto? It's not like Corbyn's gonna nip round and get my Pepsi Max, is he? And it's not like Theresa May's gonna go round and get it. Her cabinet's already full of shite, but this was what got me the most. Kerry Atchison, the person who started the whole group, she posted this. At the Rohan Kanai Hashington Spoons with my sister, table 14, send us shit. Not actual shit. Yeah, cheeky bitch. Wouldn't go and get me my Pepsi Max, but you'll happily sit in a Weatherspoons while we send you stuff. You'll go far in politics. Uh, to be fair, you are in a Weatherspoons. 90% of what they serve is shit. But still, credit where credit's due. Well played. Enjoy your glass of milk. John Lewis has just released their new advert in the middle of November, so it can only mean it's Christmas time. Here's a quick rundown. Kid spots monster under his bed. Tries to ban the monster from entering his room. Actually, don't worry about that. My mate's proper shattered, though. He keeps me up watching cat videos. Oi, wake up, you prick. I was winning. Think I'll take him on a sesh. Oi, oi, me parcel from Amazon's arrived. Hey, mum, are you on crack again? I don't know, a pet. Well, hey, nightlight, buzzing. See you later, mate. I'm off to trip me nuts off. But for some reason, no matter what John Lewis do, they always seem to spark some form of controversy. And honestly, it's quite a sweet advert. I mean, did you see anything wrong with that advert? What? No. Then you must be colorblind. Interracial relationships can strike anywhere. If you see one, please call 0800 Stop Mixing. That's 0800 Stop Mixing. People were genuinely upset because they used an interracial couple. The only way to preserve the true diversity is for different races not to mix with each other. Race mixing is like pouring all different colours of paint into one pot. Eh? All the distinct colours and variety are gone forever. Hey Tim, keep Tony out of the paint. No one fucks with my Julex. Keeping all the distinct ethnic peoples of the world is true diversity. Merging them all into one and losing all that made them unique is an act of vandalism. We're going to end up with a world of people with no shared identity or culture. Just ruthless worker drones and consumers with no history and no connection to one another. We can also stop this nightmarish future from happening, or we can sleepwalk into it. Our choice? Let's make the right one. John Lewis, you've ruined my future. Swine. But we all have to suffer this latest pile of diversity shite yet again. Why, yes, Kev's test tube love child in Pertava. Yes, we do. It's not just Xmas adverts, as you'll see on any advert now. A group of guys, for example, going for a pint always seems to have a black pal in tow. Wait, 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 are you saying I can't take my mate Barry at the pub now? He owes me around the stingy bastard. Or a group of women that have a black pal too. In fact, it's just have to accept the Jewish agenda against white Christian countries. Whoa, 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 whoa. hang on a minute. Now we were just trying to sort out what banter we were going to have at the pub. Now he wants to kick off. As it seems by the invasion of third world trash into Europe by weak sorrow brought libtard governments. As for John Lewis and the rest of those pandering stores, and then on behalf of every white Christian, oh, here comes a bold statement. Go stick your multiculturalism right up your PC arse. Dot, dot, dot. 
Ah, yes, I love that one. Just can never remember. Was it in the Gospel of Luke or John? Jesus would approve. The irony is, by these racists making these posts about how having interracial couples on TV have been done to death and it's all done to be PC friendly, it just proves exactly why we've got to have this on TV. An innocent advert about a kid who can't get to sleep with a monster who plays with him, and all people can talk about is the fact that he's got interracial parents. Education wouldn't go amiss, lads. Right, football. Football in the last week has changed a lot because now you don't even have to kick a football. We've got Patrice Evra kung fu kicking a fan in the head. Well, that's one way to get to the knockout stages. Cantona did it better though. Then you you got Robin Zentner who made the name for himself by trying to kick the penalty spot. Whoops! Oh my goodness! Oi oi! FIFA 10 glitch. He did the right thing in the end though. When you're in doubt, press triangle. Works every time that. Speaking of football games, Football Manager has come out with something new in their latest edition. Football Manager 2018 introduces feature allowing players to come out as gay. And honestly, I'm really glad they did it. It's a big stigma around it in the football community, so honestly, it's a great thing that they're raising awareness for it. My big issue is, why didn't they do it sooner? I mean, what is football really, if you strip it right down? 22 hot, sweaty men playing with each other in their balls in a field for 90 minutes. The object of the game is basically to see how many times you can bury the keeper. Tackles flying in left, right and centre. And you'll always get that one guy who can hit a loaded shot on target from 25 yards. So I'm sorry Barry and Keith if your divorced dad's skinheaded ways are offended. Anyone with half a brain cell just doesn't care what you think. That being said, subscribe anyway. I, I could do with the numbers. Anyway guys, that's it from me. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I'm going to be away for a few days in Great Yarmouth with the missus, so if you wouldn't mind, I'm going to set a like goal. Whoa, Jack, steady on, man. My heart's racing here. If we can get like 10 likes on this video, I'll join Liam Gallagher's band and I'll play the kettle with a spoon. And if you've got any topics in particular that you'd like to cover, just hashtag tip or you can at me at JackQueenSin. Just go for it. Send me a message. Don't forget to subscribe and take care for now. My name is Jack Queen. Rock on! To get back home Sleep pretty darling, do not cry And I will sing a lullaby